Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you the complete application tracking system using Google Sheet and Google App Script. So, what this system can do, we'll see it step by step. So, first, let's see its interface. So, this is the login interface. If an applicant do not have any account, so they can click on this link. So, it will open in create new account form and on another thing guys this application is a multi-language application this application support arabic as well as english so here if you want arabic we can click on this arabic language and it will convert whole page in arabic language and if you want in english we can click on this it will convert the page to English. So we'll see how we can add a new uh, text both in English and Arabic in later on. So now let's create an account. So let the Arabic name be Ronnie. Now email address be this and let the password be 1234. Phone number is something like this and the date of birth let it be 2000 january 1st january now register so it will send verification code to that email which i have just entered so see this is the verification code so we will enter the verification code and if we click on this verify we can also resend the verification code by clicking on this the email verify successfully you can now log in so now let's log in so when we click the login it will log into the so this is the dashboard of an applicant so here you can see there are tab uh, where applicant can see the status of the application and here are the application one two three which can be customized as per the requirement so now let's see if we, an applicant wants to fill up a form then they'll click on this new application and see this is the large form so i have subdivided it to seven parts so this application also can upload document so let's make it full screen see this so let write so now writes the name in arabic arabic and let name be like this so this is the part of an application uh, divided into seven parts because one of my client client asked me to do this so i'm sharing this with you so let enter some medic uh, military id number so let the rank be something like this then a specification let be general i don't know uh, what the specification for military so let write some random data so in it with two national id the j f something like this date of birth be 05 like this so let marital status be married number of children with two and companion with two and can companion with okay and on another thing guys we can save this application as draft so that if you log out from this system and when in login again we can continue with this draft application so we'll see it later so in the next form we can see here asking for the passport information so let, let it be like this password number be something random like this data issue will be any random data uh, place of issue will be date of entry be like this start the this so next uh, then asking for the number let give some number usa street new city be state be something like this let chip be like this USA number be like this street saudi Arabia street and email so we'll be this so if you now want to save this as a draft you can click on this draft and it will save the form as a draft and if you now 
can seal and if you reload this form uh, this dashboard it will it will must show the application sync over here so now we can see the incomplete form by clicking on this view button like this or we can just continue with the drop data so let continue not twitter account let me run a chat account running again next so relatives so let the relative name be sammy mobile number give some random mobile number let his wife we can add as much as relative information by clicking on this relative add another relatives so let it be Rio, then the number will be like this. Relation B. Now, next. So, here family member uh, for health insurance. We can write anything over here. We can add member as much as by clicking on this add family member. Let relation parents. Let the data but be something like this. Okay. So we can add as much as relation by clicking on this and the next and here here we can add our photo like this we have a photo crop see and then we have to add the passport copy over here so the data so the document can be pdf or it can be jpg so let's add some demo document and now if you want to save this draft it will save the form as draft or if you want to submit it it will finally submit the form so let's submit the form it will take some time to submit the form as the document also upload so the form has been submitted see the uh, form from the uh, draft has been removed and here in the submitted tab it's showing the form has been submitted so here we can see the view button so on clicking on this see the data of the form here see so now let's log in with the admin so the form has been assigned to admin by default so let's log in with admin so this is the admin dashboard and we can see the application has been shown over here pending so previously i have uh, approved on application which was shown over here see so now let's see the new application so if the admin want to view the, this application then you will click on this icon i icon see so after viewing all the data so the attached file can be viewed by clicking on this link over here see like this so we can see the attached pdf by clicking on this respective link so if the app uh, if the uh, admin wants to assign this application to the supervisor then he can click on this icon and one thing guys there is another button workflow button so on clicking on this we can see the workflow so the application has been submitted and showing that the application has been submitted and if we want to assign this application to a supervisor then we can click on this button and then we'll select the supervisor and then write please check and then we'll assign so it will assign this application to a specific supervisor so here we can uh, there there may be multiple supervisor over here so the admin has the option 
to assign a specific application to a specific supervisor. Let login with the supervisor. So in the supervisor end, we, we can see this application has been assigned by the admin. So here again, we can, the, the supervisor can view the form by clicking on this I button. And after verifying all this, the supervisor can also see the workflow where the supervisor can see the comment of the admin. That's it. Please check. And if all thing is okay, then the supervisor can accept or reject or ask for the required document. So let accept this. So here is the admin email. And one thing, if we ask for a required document, then we can directly send this to the applicant or to the admin, where admin will decide whether to send this application to the applicant or directly approve. So let just approve it. So we write accepted or approve. And if we click on save, it will save the data and the application will be removed from, from this end. So now let, let again log in with the admin. So here we can see a new button has been displayed over here where we can send this application to the applicant. So here you can see approve to here also showing current status to we can see the work overview over here see accepted supervisor is telling the application has been approved so we can send this to the applicant with some message download the approved letter okay so here we can see all the application so now if we login with the applicant email id then we can see here at group we can see this download letter button so if you click on this it will ask for this letter and if you click on this download pdf it will download the letter in pdf so this is the application tracking system here we can see we can also change the language anytime we want like this uh, in this application form we can also change this we can change the text of the application over here so i hope you like this now let's see how you can use this project for your own purpose for that Go to the download description and there you will find the purchase link and the project link and also the PayPal link where you can uh, donate if you want. And if you click on this purchase link here, you can see that you can purchase my work by paying few dollars or you can just click on this project link and it will redirect to the project page here go to the download section over here and now here enter the code that i have provided during the video so note that code and enter over here and then click enter the code and submit for download it will take few minutes to create the download link so we'll wait for that So now the download link is ready. So we will click on this button, go to the project. So it will open the this page where you have to click make a copy. So click on this button, make a copy. Now see the project has been copied successfully. 
Now go to the extension, then app script. There you will find this two line, two and three. So here you have to copy the seat ID. Then paste over here. And then write here the admin email. That is your email. Like admin at the rate gmail.com now by default pdf and image will be saved in a folder application underscore files so if you want to change then you can change over here and then go to the deploy new deploy main give the name ats and here who has access select to anyone and then deploy give all the necessary permission if required copy the url link boom your application is ready so so i hope you like this video and if you enjoy then please subscribe to my channel like and comment and also you can donate whatever you want by downloading this application using camroad or by paying through this paypal account now till then bye bye